Hello everyone, welcome to Morrison's mini class. Today we will discuss two questions related to fuse applications. Question 1. Why does the fuse fail when a short circuit in the output occurs? Question 2. Why does the fuse blow when the system runs normally? First, let's learn about the characteristics of a fuse and what triggers it to blow. Here are the answers. The current flowing through the fuse produces heat, which causes it to blow at a certain point. For normal system operation, the fuse should not blow in less than 120 seconds, under 2.1 times its rate of power. To provide effective system protection, the fuse should blow faster the larger the overcurrent is. For example, the fuse should blow between 0.4 seconds to 10 seconds under 2.75 times rated current, between 0.15 seconds to 3 seconds under 4 times rated current, and 0.02 seconds to 0.15 seconds under 10 times rated current. When the output is short circuited, the peak input current is several times the rated current of the power supply for a few microseconds. In this case, the fuse will not blow. Since the overcurrent caused by the output short circuit will not cause the fuse to blow, the protection of the back end circuit is handled entirely by the power module itself. Why does the fuse blow when the system runs normally, even if there is a delay in the fuse's action? In this case, incorrect selection of the fuse is the main cause. The situation can be divided into three different cases. Case 1. The rated current of the system is close to, or even higher than, the fuse's rated current. This condition usually appears for a short time and is easy to recognize. Case 2. There is a high current pulse through the fuse at system startup. The high current pulse can cause premature aging of the fuse and will even cause the fuse to blow if it lasts long enough. Case 3. An instantaneous current surge causes the fuse to blow in a few microseconds. This happens occasionally and often during surge testing. Do we have a better idea now how a suitable fuse should be selected? First, confirm if the complete system needs to pass safety certification testing. If needed, it is necessary to select a fuse that meets the certification standard. At this point, rated voltage and rated current of the system should be considered. Selected fuse's rated voltage should be higher than system's rated voltage. Maximum system current protection, the upper limit according to the certification authority, should be greater than the selected fuse's rated current and greater than the system's rated current. A slightly higher current rating is recommended to reduce the chance of a fuse's malfunction. Secondly, consider transient currents such as surges. It is recommended to match the fuse to the corresponding 1 amp 1 kV, 2 amp 2 kV, and 3.15 amp 4 kV surge classes, and use a slow blow fuse to avoid misfiring. Thank you for your attention. See you next time.